Hi guys, it's Kiwi Simming here and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Scarlet Story. Um, today we are starting off with Tyson running through the house <laughs> the way that he always does. It's so cute. But um, yep, he's in an absolutely terrible mood because he is starving. So it is time to wake Scarlet up and get him some breakfast before he gets taken away from me. Because <laughs> I don't really want that, weirdly enough. I'd like to keep my child, thank you. Alright, but um, okay. We are just going to take care of Tyson. Obviously, he's got, you know, got some issues going on at the moment. Um, and, yeah. I guess we'll look after Scarlet as well. Oh, my voice is going croaky again. This is terrible. <laughs> Not having a good day. All right. You've given him food. Go. Why do my sims always ignore me? They just, they just ignore me. <laughs> Scarlet, what are you doing? Clean up the food. Okay. Clean up the dishes, please. Okay, leave Tyson alone. Clean the dishes, thank you. Right, he's gonna go and use the toilet. His run is so weird. Like, is he supposed to run like that? I'm just kind of weirded out by it. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, he runs like a demonic little child and it's just, yeah, I'm not a fan. But um, once again, Jeremy is chilling outside the house. It's annoying, um, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know, I I feel like it has something to do with the fact that he used to live here and I don't know, maybe the game still thinks he does live here but actually he doesn't so please make him go away. <laughs> I don't know what's going on but, you know, he's still driving me nuts. I feel like he's just always going to. <laughs> but look at him, he's like running around like a little demon. I feel like this isn't, this is not normal. I would hope that kids don't run around like that. Okay. But, um, eating desserts, I gave him cereal. Really? <laughs> that is hardly a dessert. But, um, he is getting into trouble, which, I mean, I guess is fine. Also, um, I realised that I had been trying to get his imagination skill up so that he would stop having nightmares, but actually, it's the thinking skill that I have to get up, not his imagination skill. I'm stupid. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know a lot of things about The Sims, clearly. But um, Scarlet is finally having some breakfast. Uh, we're going to have her use the toilet and take a shower afterwards. Her fun is terrible. I really wish we could keep the TV, but I just, she doesn't do her work on the computer when the TV's there. And it's just, it's just annoying. Um, Dylan, hey, I need to get out of the house. Want to come join me for breakfast at Cameron's Cubby? If you had rung me like, uh, 10 minutes ago, I would have gone. But you didn't. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We've already had breakfast. I'm not going to spend my money on food that I'm not going to eat. Okay, but, yep. Tyson is just minding his own business over here. I might invite Dylan over just because I feel like he's the person that Tyson has spent the least amount of time with. Although, mm -hmm. oh my god, Levi aged up. When did that happen? Did I, did I know that already? I don't think I did. I think that's new. Wow. Levi's a kid. That's so weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and invite Dylan over because it does look like um, he is the least close with him. Oh, we have royalties. Right. We gained 372 simoleons from royalties, which is great. Uh, we're going to go ahead and invite um, Dylan to hang out. Um, can I make another club of just, like, people that... Oh, can I only be in one club? Oh, there we go. I'm going to make another club. And I'm going to be, like, people allowed in my house. <laughs> uh, it's going to be invite only. And, all right, Dylan, you can come in. Serena, you can come in. Uh, Levi, you can come in. It's pretty much it. These are the only people that I want to, like, let into my house. <laughs> okay. Cool. And I'm gonna... Oh. Right. I'm gonna lock the front door for people in my house. So, Jeremy still won't be able to get in, but I won't have to go and unlock the door every time um, I want someone to come over. Is Dylan coming over? Yes, he is. Alright. Come on in. Um, let's go ahead and brighten his day. Are you in Don't Go Outside? You are. Why aren't you coming inside then, you weirdo? <laughs> Alright, um... 
Okay, I'm gonna have him spend some time with Tyson because yeah, talk about superheroes, talk about favorite color. Let's tell him all of these things that he probably doesn't care about because he's our dad, I mean our granddad, and he has to listen. We're also going to ask him for dessert, <laughs> basically. Um, I'm going to have Scarlet come over here and just uh, play a game, I guess. Uh, our bills have been delivered, so... Yep, we owe 400 simoleons, which is not bad. That's a, kind of the good thing about living in apartments. You can have as much furniture as you want, but like you'll always have like a flat rate, I guess. Uh, why can't you get in? Are you stuck? You can come in, Dylan. <laughs> why is he not coming in? Dylan, come here. Let's say nonsense. I don't know why he's not coming inside. Maybe I should just unlock this for a second. And maybe then he'll come in. Well, no, because I don't want Tyson to go out there. <laughs> this is so hard. Um, lock door for... Um, don't go outside, members. Come in! Actually, let's try people allowed in my house. Maybe he'll come in then. But let's try and there we go he's coming in okay i want him to play what is this listen to dylan's question oh he's still not coming in why aren't you coming in oh there we go all right so tyson and dylan are playing with each other which is super cute why is the gate not shutting <laughs> i feel like this gate was such a good idea and was worth working so perfectly to begin with and now it's just not so that's great um but Scarlet's fun is up, so I'm going to get her to pay the bills first, and then I'm going to get her to um, carry on writing her poetry book that she was apparently writing. I don't really remember her starting to write it, but apparently she did. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, fine. She makes about 300 odd simoleons off her writing. Oh, I'm kind of mad that I'm having her do writing because I've got my legacy challenge sim doing writing, so it's like everyone is writing, but... I just wanted her to be different from <laughs> Serena, but uh, yeah, I might have to, oh god, I don't even know. I don't know. How do I make money in this game? Enlighten me. I'd love to hear. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, but um, she is working on her book. She's at level 6 of the writing skill, which is pretty good. Um, Tyson's taken himself to bed for a nap. I didn't even realise he was tired. I'm a bad parent. It's fine. <laughs> Oh god, okay. Um, I really want Serena, I mean Scarlet, to get in the dating game. So I'm going to create one more club. One more. And it's just going to be for young adults. So that she can meet some people, basically. Alright, who am I interested in meeting? Um, who's available? I can't go into the gallery at the moment because I'm pretty sure... It's down for maintenance. Oh, what is happening to my voice? <clears throat> um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> Everyone's blue. Or they have custom content here that they're not supposed to. And uh, I like the look of Gavin though. Maybe we should add Gavin to the group. And also Eric, because he is quite nice looking. Um, I don't really want Paolo. I just, no. Hmm. I'm pretty sure he's married. Uh, he's my neighbour and I hate him. Well, I don't hate him. I hate, I hate um, whatever her name is. Gita. But, yeah. Mm. We'll add some women to it too, actually. Because this lady looks lovely. And Alice. We'll add her. Let's just add a bunch of people. Okay. Cool. I'm going to name it. Yeah. Yeah. Trick. Yeah. Um, the club, ha the club hangout is my house. <laughs> we just party at mine. Yay. No, I'm just kidding. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, right. So that's great. We now have a group of young adults. I want to get Scarlet out and meeting some of them. So, um, let's start a gathering. Can I, like, select where the gathering is going to be, though? 
Oh, shit. Nope, they're all coming to my house. <laughs> uh, despite the fact that none of them will be able to get in. Okay. Uh, we're just going to unlock all of these doors because, yep, here's my squad. <laughs> I didn't mean for them to come to my house. It's not what I meant. Uh, all right, but here's the first dude that I thought looked uh, pretty cute. So we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves to everyone. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I keep clearing my throat, but it just keeps going croaky, you know. It's annoying me. Um, we'll go ahead and compliment his dorky outfit. We will, um, complain about our crap love life. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to communicate with everyone, not just him, which, that's fine, I guess. Just getting to know my new squad. They're all just kind of helping themselves to my house. Yay. <laughs> oh, why did I choose to start a gathering? I actually didn't think this would happen, so great. 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 Okay. Um, whatever. I'll just... <laughs> That's fine. They shouldn't be here too long and I can kick them out at any time. So that's great. But I really want to get to know um, this dude because I love how dorky he looks. <laughs> I really do. We're going to brighten his day. We're going to ask about his career. See how much money he's making. Because, you know, that's important. Um, discuss interests and stuff. Just just be annoying, basically. I don't want to flirt with him because I don't want to, like, scare him. <gasps> He's a writer? That's perfect. Let's ask about his favorite author. Okay, um, are you a writer? Probably not. Go away. <laughs> I want to get to know this dude. He's a writer. That's, like, perfect. They could have their, like, little offices. I ship it. I so ship it. <laughs> um, we will... No, don't do an impression. That could be rude. <laughs> um, okay, tell him a funny story. I told you to go away. Honestly, go inside. Everyone else is. <laughs> I just want to talk to... What's his name? Was it Gavin? Yeah, I just want to talk to Gavin one-on-one. -on -one because they have stuff in common. It's perfect. It's perfect. I just... Oh. What is this that she keeps doing? She keeps like patting people on the shoulder and I don't really know what it is. I guess it's a gathering type thing. I don't know. But let's discuss our interests. Um, tell him a joke about penguins because that's funny. Um, compliment his outfit again. Um, no, we're not going to kick him out of our group. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just... Let's just do a whole bunch of friendly interactions so that our relationship gets up. Because I do really like that he's a writer. It just... Yes, I can picture her with, like, a writer. I can... These two could work. I mean, obviously I'd want to give him a bit of a makeover because the loafers. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I mean, he's cute, but I don't know. I feel like Scarlet would rather, you know, not date someone dorky. Not that there's anything wrong with being dorky. I just, I don't know. I, it's just Scarlet. That's how I see her. She's like so hip. Look at her. But I'm kind of uncomfortable about the fact that everyone is just kind of mingling in my house. Oh, God. I mean, Tyson's probably trying to sleep, but... Oh, shit. Okay, well, this dude was never an option. <laughs> because these two are actually together. That's awkward. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end the gathering just because I'm kind of over it. Um, so can we all leave, please? Thank you. Everyone file out of my house. Except Gavin, you can stay if you want to, but I feel like you're leaving. Yes, you are. Okay. That's fine. I'm glad she's met someone new. I like it. I can definitely... I, I can roll with this. Um, I'm going to add him to the people allowed in my house club. <laughs> it's so ridiculous how many clubs I have. I know, but it's it's fine. It's fine. Um, I might actually, do you know what? Let's invite him out for dinner. Let's go on a date with him. S where is he? Okay. Um, I know we literally just, uh, left each other, but I want to go for a date. So, yep. We're going to travel. We're going to travel with, uh, Gavin. I'm going to send Tyson a daycare. Hopefully he gets, like, skills up. Where is, where's Gavin? There. <laughs> he was like right at the top. I'm so stupid. Okay. Uh, we're probably just going to go to Cameron's Cubby. That's kind of like the only place I visit. But it's fine. 
So that's in Newcrest, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes it is, here it is. We're going to go to Cameron's Cubby, we're going to get some dinner with Gavin, we're going to get to know each other, and th I just, I, I want them to hit it off. I don't know what, I just really like that he's a writer. <laughs> it's such a minor thing about him, but I love it. I'm like kind of obsessed with it. I don't know, I get, I get excited over stupid little things. But here we are. Um, let's go ahead and first um, give him a hug. Why not? Great way to start off a date. And we're going to go ahead and request a table, of course. From this blue skinned Martian, basically. Can I have a table, please? <laughs> oh, God. I, I really need to go through and clean up all of these sims that are suddenly blue skinned. I just can't be bothered. I'm so lazy. <laughs> I feel like you guys know this, but okay. Um, he's creative, which is good. Where's my table, though? Oh, God. Well, rest in peace, Dennis Kim. Thanks for dying on my date. Um, where's my table? Is this chick gonna... Is she gonna actually assign me a table? Can I have a table? Seriously. Give me a table. <laughs> All right, here's our table. Um, we're not going to witness the death because that's depressing. We're just going to go and sit at our table. Okay, uh, we're going to order. This date is going terribly all because of that selfish prick dying. Okay, don't do that while I'm on a date. Thank you. <sighs> all right, we're going to get some... We'll get some walleye surprise. I don't know what that is, but we're going to get it. And he, Gavin, is going to get trout. And for drinks, let's just both have some wine. Great. We're all sorted. So, I'm so pissed off about this dude. Totally ruining my date. Because look, now, oh, it's all going wrong. Everything is going wrong. <laughs> look, just let me... God. I've already ordered... I feel like this is just going to go miserably. <laughs> like absolutely miserably. Oh, I hate this already. Okay. I don't want to mourn Dennis. I'm mad at Dennis. I'm pissed off that he totally ruined my date with Gavin. I hate Dennis. Okay. I have no interest in mourning him. Don't mourn him. Who cares? Not me. Ugh. Well, Dennis, you have single-handedly ruined my date. <laughs> No, don't mourn for him. I'm mad. This dude is selfish. Just bloody dying in the middle of a restaurant. Screw you. I was on a date. Okay, Scarlet, honestly, you didn't even know this dude. I know it's like scary to witness death and stuff, but you did not know him. <laughs> Stop getting upset. Oh, put okay, I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm over this date. I'm so over it. I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. We're going home. <laughs> Right, forget this date. That was a flop. Bye. Rest in peace, Dennis. Thanks for totally ruining everything. Ugh. You know, I was really feeling good about this date. I honestly thought we were going to get a little bit of flirtiness in by the end of the episode. But no. Dennis, you screwed that one up for me. So thank you so much. Ugh. All right, we're back at home. Um, Scarlet is miserable because she's mourning the death of someone that she never met. Um, someone that she doesn't even know, but I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, I'm just so mad. I feel like that date would have gone so well if Dennis hadn't bloody died. So thank you for that. Appreciate it. Ugh. Like literally, she never even knew him. Stop mourning. You're pathetic. <laughs> uh, remembering a sim that passed away. What do you mean remembering him? Yeah, didn't know him. <laughs> I'm so mad. Okay, I'm so mad. That date would have gone so well. It just... Alright, well, what's Tyson doing? He's just... He wants to talk. Oh, he's so cute. I love him so much. Um, He's going to the potty. Oh my god, he's actually kind of walking a little bit normally now. Not so much running like a demon, which is good. <laughs> because... No, not gonna lie. That was... His little run before was kind of terrifying, but... Uh, anyway, 
Oh, I'm so mad. Okay. It's Tyson's birthday. I don't know if he's going to age up now or if he's going to age up later. Can I celebrate it tomorrow? It's 10 p.m. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't trust this game. If I go to bed now, is am I going to wake up and Tyson's going to be a child and he's going to be sad because he didn't celebrate his birthday? What's going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> oh, we'll just, we'll age him up tomorrow. I'm so disappointed in this entire episode. Oh, cry it out. That's what I want to do. <laughs> oh, but we are at time for this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. Oh, I'm so mad. I was honestly looking forward to her getting close to Gavin or like getting to know him because you know writers come together you know I just oh god screw you Dennis you totally ruined everything <laughs> oh I'm like face palming right now you can't see it but um oh god anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it stressed me out and made me mad <laughs> hopefully you got some form of entertainment out of it uh, yeah, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And of course, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.